The old man from the coffee shop asks for my name. I write Mercedes Holtry on a piece of paper. He stares at it. Holtry, huh? If you're a Chicana, how did you end up with a German last name? Ah, you must be a coyote, a child of mixed blood. What he means to assume is you must be a bastard, a mutt, mongrel, vagabond, impure, messy, complicated, messed up, a monstrosity. You're one of those people, huh? Your parents are two opposite flavors and swirly fucked you into existence. You're all Spanish accent and light skin and all long dark hair and freckles too. Ghetto for AP placement, not brown enough to be called Mexican. You were that kid, I bet. Always having to prove your split tongue, always having to hear whispers about the skin you're in, the assumptions about where your blood comes from. Pinchi sangrona, the brown girls would say. She thinks she's all that because she's half white. Talking smack in Spanish as if my grandmother never taught me how to cuss in our native tongue. Answering questions like, you know Spanish? Are you Spanish? What about Hispanic? You kind of look Latino. There's no way you're Mexican. You look white to me if you're white. Why do you pretend to be brown? You know Mexican's not a race, right? What's your dad? Your mom's from Mexico. Eventually, the questions and assumptions write themselves into a history lesson. My blood is the story of nine million Americans who, like me, check the other box on the census. I'm the walking definition of rape, kill, and conquer, birth from oppress and oppressor. I am Aztec indigenous woman and Spanish conquistador. My ancestors were the ones mistaken for white gods and also the ones enslaved into patriarchy. I, in part, recognize your privilege and never forget your struggle part. Mexican mother and American father part, traceable to the root in part, accepting the unknown. In the 17th century, the system of castas was based on the accepted knowledge that the character and quality of people varied according to their birth, race, color, and origin, and ethnic types, and soon every name they call you only places you back on the list of social stratification. Mestizo, castizo, Spaniard, mulato, morisco, albino, torne atrás, lobo, cambujo, albarazado, parcino, coyote, chamiso, coyote, mestizo, ahí de estas. They all translate to mixed blood. Blood? That is not pure. You are not pure, the old man tells me with his face. America loves pure and you are messy, different, disordered, brood, needed and fused together. I nod my head proudly as if to say, yeah, I'm a walking history lesson, proof that we all come from the same tree but eventually outgrow our roots. So yes, I am a mix of things, but what I am not is an identity crisis, some kind of chemistry experiment. America's ignorant assumptions about who I am, what I feel, how I act. My character belongs to me. My identity belongs to me. My blood belongs to me. And I'll be damned if anyone calls my blood anything but beautiful. Yeah. What up, Tucson? How you guys feeling? Good? Good? Cool, cool. Uh, my name is Mercedes. I'm from Albuquerque. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a Burkenya. Um, came all the way, and it was it was a mission to get here. I was five hours delayed in LA. If you know what LA is like, it's awful. But I am happy to be here right now. Shout out, shout out to you guys. Um, not uh, I don't want to talk about myself too much because I only have ten minutes. But I do want to give a shout out to every single poet, um, youth poet, especially who came out on the mic and uh, spit their truth. That's one of the hardest things to do, especially at that age. If you're comfortable in your skin enough to get up on a mic and talk about what you go through in front of a lot of people that you don't know, you are brave. So um, shout out to those youth poets. And um, I'm gonna do two more poems and then we're gonna get on with the slam because I, I, I want it to be on them. I like to hear them. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I recently just competed in the Women of the World Poetry Slam held in Albuquerque, yes, and I took third out of 72 women, self-identified women poets in the entire world. So it was, it was crazy, it was a, it was a mission, and um, this was one of my poems on final stage, and it's about being a woman, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah, you guys can get hype with me, that shows me that you, you're listening, I like hype. Um, I'm from Burke, we get crazy, so yeah, yeah, feel free to just, you know, if you wanna jump, jump. <coughs> 